Hello and welcome back to the Wasteland, everybody. Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas, where today we're going to be taking a look at the Marksman Rifle and its unique variant, the All-American. So the Marksman's Rifle is going to be a weapon that's usually found in the late game of New Vegas. Certain enemies can have this. You can also potentially find this really early on if you want to run to, like, the Boomer's Place because there is one laying next to a dead body right up there, so that's really cool. Hit squads can have these, both Legion and NCR can have them, uh, and towards the end of the campaign, when you're going to like the fight of the Hoover Dam, then a lot of both the Legion and the NCR may have Marksman's Rifles on them. So the Marksman's Rifle requires 100 guns and 4 strength to wield, a lot of guns, not very much strength. Maxing out guns early on could be a pretty decent option, you can also buy Marksman's Rifles from like the Gunrunners somewhat early on. It, it is related to level as to when they're going to get them, but it's not an extremely high level that you need to be in order to find these. The Marksman's Rifle also uniquely has a scope on it, which is pretty cool, uh, or at least like a ACOG slash red dot sight on it. It's kind of weird. It doesn't quite look like the one that you're seeing in the footage here. This is from a mod to make it look a little bit nicer, but it does have a really nice sight. It makes it so you can shoot this at fairly long range pretty accurately. This one does 24 damage per shot, which is fairly high for a 5.56 gun. This one does 137 damage per second, which is quite good. This one can make pretty fast follow-up shots and can shoot really fast. Although it is semi-auto only, it's not full auto, so you will have to tap the trigger every time. This one does 24 crit damage, same as its regular damage, which is pretty good. Has a one times crit modifier, so average crits. Only costs 14 action points to use this in VATS. The Marksman's Rifle is one of the best VATS using weapons in the entire game, especially for rifles, and especially if you account how cheap 5.56 is to put into the weapon. This one has very low spread at 0.04, so not a whole lot of spread, very good at very long ranges, which is awesome. This one holds 20 rounds in the magazine. This one weighs six weight, so it's not super heavy, and it has 400 item health, which is pretty decent for a weapon like this. You're not gonna go through item health really fast with this, and it's not too difficult to repair, at least in the later games, especially if you have jury rigging, where you can fix this up with like service rifles. For the general pros of the Marksman's Rifle, this one does do pretty high damage per shot, especially for a 5.56 weapon. 24 damage is pretty nice. Really high damage per second as well, has really good damage there. Has a great ammo. The 5.56 round is extremely versatile. It can be used in basically any situation, so that's really good. It's also very common and very cheap to buy from vendors and it has really good action point costs, so in a VATS build, this one is really, really strong. The only con to the Marksman Rifle is that it's rare. That's about it. Everything else about it is amazing, I guess, and it has a high stat requirement of needing 100 guns so that you can reduce the sway, but even then, it doesn't have like a lot of recoil or anything, so it's not that difficult to use if you don't have those 100 guns anyway. And since it is shooting 5.56, you're probably not gonna really care about wasting ammo if that goes off target, so that's really good. Marksman's Rifle is all around a really solid weapon for just about every sort of situation, at least for a guns build. If you're not going with a guns build, it can still be pretty decent. There are some perks that help this out and the unique version. VATS perks help out immensely with the Marksman's Rifle because if you just keep getting more VATS points or if you keep reducing the overall cost of the Marksman's Rifle to be used in VATS, it just makes it super easy to use this and just spam at, like, basically spam out the entire magazine at something and that's probably gonna kill it because this gun is pretty accurate. So if you wanna go with a VATS build, Marksman's Rifle could be a very, very tempting option to take. This is also affected by the Grunt perk in particular, which makes so you get 25% more damage with this weapon. And since it already has pretty high damage and pretty good damage per second, upping that even higher makes it so this weapon is even better making a, an already strong weapon that much stronger. Let's talk about the different ammos that you can load into this as well, because there is quite a few of them. You have the standard 5.56 rounds. These ones just give you the standard amount of damage that you would normally get from any, well, regular bullet. So that's kind of nice. And they're also super common. You can buy them from basically anywhere. There is the 223. This gives you 10% less damage per shot whenever you're shooting at enemies, but it does break your gun 20% slower. So you can have a longer lasting gun. There is armor piercing rounds, which armor piercing rounds are really good for the 556 weapon because they only take off 5% damage, but they make it so you can punch through 15 armor. That's really good. You have the hollow point rounds, give you 75% more damage, but make it so the enemy gets three times the amount of armor. So you don't want to be using this against heavy armor enemies or even medium armored enemies light and non-armored enemies are going to be the way to go you have these surplus rounds you can buy these in bulk and you can buy them really early on a lot of vendors tend to sell these and the surplus rounds give you 15 percent more damage but break your gun three times faster i wouldn't really recommend you put those into the marksman's rifle it's just not really a, a great thing to be doing because they are fairly rare so it's going to be kind of difficult to repair these unless you got an abundance of weapon repair kits or you do have jury rigging and you're okay with buying things like service rifles to fix these up, in which case then that's perfectly fine. And then you also have the match rounds, which you can make these if you have the handloader perk. 
which makes it so you get 15% more damage per shot, and it makes it so your gun is more accurate, so it has less spread. Accuracy doesn't really matter that much for these weapons because they're already quite accurate, but it is just kind of a nice bonus overall. For an overall rating for the Marksman's Rifle on my tier list, I'd put this thing right up into A tier. It is very solid. It is one of the best generic guns in the game and can compete with like quite a few of the unique weapons, as well as it is arguably one of the strongest, if not the strongest, weapon to be using the 5.56 with besides maybe like the light machine gun and its unique variant, I guess. So let's talk about the unique variant, All-American. All-American you can find at the very bottom of Vault 34. You do have to get all the way down there and then it will be found uh, on the ground in the armory once you've unlocked the armory. So you do have to go through the entirety of the vault. You have to drain the areas. You have to get into the overseer's area and make sure that you can unlock the armory from there. This does take a while to actually go through and the place is infested with a lot of ghouls, which can be pretty dangerous. There is still some really cool stuff that you can get in there though. The armory is jam packed full of weapons. There's actually two unique weapons in there. The All-American Rifle, as well as the Pulse Gun, which makes so you do extra damage towards like power armor and robots, which can be pretty cool too. There's also a bunch of other guns in there, like there's always a riot shotgun, there's missile launchers, grenade launchers, grenade rifles. Uh, sniper rifles. There's a lot of really cool stuff. You can also get the Vault 34 security armor in there, which is one of the best light armors in the base game since it gives you just the most amount of defense out of anything in the base game, I think, at least for light armor. And it doesn't weigh too much, so it's not a bad place to go early on. As well as you can find things like 10mm submachine guns laying all throughout the vault, which are worth a decent amount too. Once you have All-American, this one does have slightly different stats than the standard Marksman's Rifle. This one requires 100 guns and 4 strength in order to wield. This one does 26 damage per shot, which is quite good. 156 damage per second, even more than the regular Marksman's Rifle. 26 damage on crit, also good. 1 times crit modifier, pretty normal. Only costs 13 action points. 14 action points is already incredibly good. 13 action points is even better because that gets to the point where you can reasonably get an extra shot in for your entire VATS bar, which is kind of nice over the Marksman's Rifle. You might actually be able to get more, at least uh, more before you would need to reload, because this one does hold more rounds in it too. This one has even less spread at 0.035, so it is extremely accurate. This one holds 24 rounds in the magazine rather than just the 20 rounds. That's pretty good. Weighs 6 and has 400 item HP. Same as the Marksman's Rifle. This one is just a straight upgrade to the Marksman's Rifle. And this is probably one of the best VATS weapons in the entirety of the game. It is really, really good in that role. It's still affected by Grunt, so it works really well as a general purpose weapon. It takes really common ammo. All-American is just fantastic at kind of doing everything. I would put All-American all the way up into S-Tier because I think it is an S-Tier VATS weapon. It's also just a very solid weapon to be carrying around because you're likely always going to have ammo for it. So long as you can keep it fixed up, it will carry you through just about anything and it's, it's just all around really solid. So that'll do it for the Marksman's Rifle and the unique variant of it. Tell me your thoughts on All-American and the Marksman's Rifle down in the comments below. Do you enjoy using these? Where would you put them on the tier list? And tell me what other weapons you'd like to see in the future. We still have quite a few to go through on these lists. Thanks everybody for watching this. I really do appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye everybody.